Hey guys, today I'm going to show you another piece of software. This one here will allow you to incrementally back up your data in Linux Mint. Not only can you incrementally back it up, but you can also sync files across folders or drives. Now the piece of software we're going to use is called GRSync. GRSync is a front end for rsync. So when you install GRSync from the software manager, it will automatically install rsync as well. So when you first open it up, you're going to have this screen here. Now I have some already. I have multiples. Uh, I have external to NAS, home folders, storage, a storage to backup, storage to global, storage to NAS. And uh, I use these pretty frequently. And the great thing about these is, for instance, storage to backup. Now storage to backup, you'll notice over here I have two drives. This is my storage, this is backup. All of my data is pretty much on my storage drive. And then I use this to back up storage to the backup drive. So these are mirror copies. Now the one thing that I don't want to do is if I actually take all the data from the storage to the backup, I don't want it to continually add more and more files. I want it to sync. So I want storage and backup to be identical. And that's what GRSync will allow me to do. So let me show you how this works. So when you open this up, the first thing you want to do is hit the plus sign right here. And then let's just go ahead and uh, make a profile, we'll call it test. So what happens is once you add a profile or a session, it will show up in this list right here. So now we have one called test. And this is where you set all the options for it. So we have here preserve time, preserve owner, preserve permissions, preserve group. Now if you're doing this for a, a, a system backup and you want to restore these, then it may be a good idea to uh, preserve the owner, preserve permissions and group and whatnot. Uh, I don't worry about it. I just have preserved time because I like to know when that file was created sometimes. And then down below it says delete on destination. What this will do is it will delete any files that are on the destination but not on your source. For instance, if I put a file on my backup drive and it's not on the storage, well when I want to sync my storage to the backup, what it will do is it will delete it off of backup because it's not on the uh, storage drive. And then we have skip newer. If your file is newer on the destination, it'll skip it and then show the transfer progress. Um, I don't worry about these other options. And then we go to advanced options. Uh, I just leave these as they are. And then we have extra options. If you want to execute certain commands, you just type them in here. Halt on failure, it'll stop. Uh, another execute command after our, our sync. And then, uh, yeah, browse files instead of folders. So I don't worry about any of this here as well. So I put two folders on my desktop we can just use as a test. So what we want to do is we want to pick our source. That's the first one here. So I'm going to hit open and then desktop and I want to pick source and then select open and then I want to select my destination open and I'm on the desktop we go to the desktop and pick destination and open now to run this all you have to do is hit the run button right here and there it is it's all done and there's those five files so here's one thing you have to do with this. Now, you'll notice that I, I selected source and destination. Now I'm going to take everything from here and put it in here. But you'll notice that when I select destination, it says source and I have to go into it here. So what you have to do is you have to take source and put forward slash. Now let's delete this and run this again and run it successful destination and there we go it's in the root of that destination folder if you want it to be called the name of the folder that you backed up that's fine too but if you don't make sure that you put a forward slash in there so let me show you how this delete on destination works let's open up destination and let's just put a new document in here call it delete and then what happens watch that file when we run it again gone because we have delete on destination. It was not in the source and so it deleted it. That's how this software syncs your folders. So we have all these profiles in here. Now let's suppose that you, you went through and you took all the painstaking work 
of creating all of these sessions or profiles and you don't want to lose them. Well, let me show you where these are located. So you want to go to Home and make sure on View that you have Show Hidden Files turned on. And then down here it says grsync, dot grsync right here. And in here there's an INI file. We open that up. We scroll down and you see all of these profiles. There's my storage to NAS. There's my storage to backup. So what you want to do is you want to take this folder right here and make sure that that gets backed up on your regular backup sessions. Now let's go back in here again. You'll notice there are two files in here, exclude and grsync INI. If we look over here, advanced options, you'll see that it says exclude from and it gives the location of that exclude file, that exclude.txt. That's this file right here. Let's open this up and you'll notice that it excludes the trash. So local share trash, it completely ignores it. If you want to exclude more folders or files, what you would want to do is put them in here. So all you have to do is put your path right here to the folder or files that you want to exclude and it will go here when you run this it'll go to here look for this file open it up and then it'll see what you've got in here and it'll execute that that's why it's critical to back up this folder right here grsync so grsync is a really sophisticated piece of software and it can be complicated if you dive into all the advanced options but if you just want to back up your folders or your and your files and you just want to sync them across drives or folders uh, or even flash drive, then this is the way to go. So a simple piece of software that you can use to incrementally back up all of your folders in Linux Mint.